Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock and uh, unlock the bootloader and actually install custom recovery on a Moto X. Uh, this is the Moto X Developer Edition though, so this would be Moto X um, for the Verizon, it's Developer Edition. Um, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about here really quick. Uh, we're going to go into Settings, About Phone, and yeah, right there, see Moto X. But then, like I said, this is the Verizon variant. You can see the stuff I'm running right here. This is Android 4.4 KitKat. Now, just so you understand this, this is on the Moto X Developer Edition for Verizon. Now, the standard retail edition for Verizon is not unlockable, but um, there's a lot of other devices that are. Um, I think some of the other Moto Xs for some of the other car carriers are unlocked for the retail version of it. Um, and a lot of other devices. So the process here I'm going to be using is going to be the same for a lot of these Moto devices that can be unlocked. So this should be kind of a universal video for all of those. Should be the same process. All right. So we're going to go through this uh, right now. This device is locked. I'm going to go over my computer, and we're going to run a bunch of things to get this all set up. So let's go check on my computer. All right. So first things first, guys. You're going to need to download this right here: Elemental Design uh, X Designs Moto X Tool Zip. This is just an easy way to get all your drivers and all the uh, files you're going to need to do this. Um, and this just makes it pretty simple for you guys. Once you guys have the zip, just extract it. And once you're extracted, it's going to basically look like this right here. And you're going to have these files. So first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click right here and run this. This is the driver install. And it will run through an install. Now, I've already done it, so it just says repair or remove. So I'm going to say cancel, but you would go through this and it would just install your drivers and make sure all the drivers are set up correctly. Make sure you want to cancel, yes, and finish. So once that is done, um, we're going to plug in a device and get the drivers going. But we need to turn something on on the phone, so let's go back to the phone really quick. So on your device, regardless of whichever device it is, you're going to need to come in here and we're going to have to turn on USB debugging. And to do that, you have to have developer settings turned on or developer options right there. So the way you turn developer options is you go into about phone, you find your build number and you just tap on it a whole bunch of times until it says you're a developer, it says no need, you're already a developer. And then what's going to happen is these developer options are going to turn on. You can go in here, make sure they're turned on on top, and then what you want to do is you want to click this right here and turn on USB debugging and make sure that is turned on. Once those are turned on and your drivers are installed, let's go ahead and take the USB cable right here and plug in the device. Ooh, little little spinny here. Um, and it should say it right up there, USB is connected. Go to this, that one's turned on, and there should be drivers installing on your computer. So let's go check those drivers out. So right here you can see the drivers that are installing. Um, it already installed this one. Here's your d device right there. And this is the important one really, is this Motorola ADB interface. It's super important that that gets installed because that's what we're going to do to command this device and to really do everything we're doing on it. It's all done through ADB and that's why you had to turn on that USB debugging um, and all that stuff because that's your ADB interface or Android debugging bridge. And that's what we're going to use to send this thing commands and do all that goodies on it. All right, so I'm going to close this out. Our drivers are installed. We installed that. We installed them once we plugged in the device. Everything should be ready to go to start doing some commands on this device. So what I'm going to show you here really quick is I'm going to show you guys over at Elemental X. Nitroglycerin has gone ahead and worked up the instructions for us. So we're just going to use his because they work really well. And I'll give you guys links to this as well. So basically what you're going to do is come in here. And it talks about how to get into bootloader because we've done all the rest of this. And the easiest thing is to do it through ADB. The other way you can do it is with right here it says power off your device, hold volume up and down during boot time. And that will get you into that uh, setting. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to go back to our window where all our files are at. 
and right in here we're going to hold shift right click with the mouse open command window here and then we're going to type in a command so the first command is going to be adb space devices and it's going to start this running for us this adb interface and it does give us a little thing here that says that it is there but it is offline the reason it says it's offline is because you have to allow it so we're right here quick hit always allow from this computer and then hit OK and that's very important so now we're gonna run that on our computer again so ADB devices and enter and now you've got instead of offline you have device so that means that it is functioning so now we're gonna paste that command we had from the other room other uh, screen over there from my web browser which was ADB reboot bootloader and you're going to see what's going to happen here on the device. So let's hit enter on that. And your device is going to reboot here. And you are in bootloader mode. So now we can run our next command. It's very important you have a good battery before you start this process. I mean, this is fine here, but I make sure you have a good battery functioning correctly. That is going to be quite important. So over here on the computer, we can go to our next command. You can see it did a little something here, which is fine let's go to our next command so we're gonna go back to our internet and what we want to type in is this command so we'll copy it which is fastboot oem get unlock data and we'll paste it in here and hit enter and this is your information so what we need to do is we need to copy this okay right click mark there it is so copy all that and then on your computer hold control C that's gonna copy it and then we're gonna uh, put all that code together like a long long string like this so let me open up a uh, quick word document really quick so here you go we're gonna paste it in here and then we're just going to bring it back one there you go and then do the same with this one there you go same with this one there we go and then the last one Come on. Won't get there. Say cut. Paste. All right, there we are. So now that's the whole information right there. That's the code we're going to need. So let's go ahead and finish up what these directions say. All right, you need to put this string together. No spaces. Enter the long code in the Motorola website. So we're going to go to the Motorola website, and I'll give you links to this so you'll know what to do. So go ahead and hit next. You can read through this if you want. It talks about unlocking the bootloader. All right, so this talks about the same commands that we already did and putting them all into one string. So right here is check your device can be unlocked, paste string, feel below, can your device be unlocked. So we're going to paste that string in here. So let me uh, copy it really quick. So we're going to copy all that. Wait a second. There we go. Copy. And then go back to the web. Paste. And can my device be unlocked? It's going to check. Verifying eligibility. And it says note if your device is unlockable. Uh, request unlock key button will here at the bottom of the page so there it is and I'm going to say I agree request unlock key unless you have a developer edition device this will void your warranty are you sure I have a developer edition device so I'm not really worried about that um, you shouldn't be there if you're doing this it's it's really not gonna hurt anything so I'll go ahead and hit OK alright so unlock the bootloader talks about what you need to do and it's going to give you a warning and and so on so it finishes giving you these directions um, now it's going to send me an email and that's what I'm going to use to finish unlocking this so right here is my uh, unlock code right there and it gives me directions right here but all I need is the code so let's go back to my 
finish looking at my directions here. So basically says to unlock the bootloader, enter the following in the command line. Fastboot OEM unlock and then my code. Alright, so we're over here. Um, I'm just going to do really quick, do fast boot devices just to make sure fast boot still functioning and it is so then we can do that command fast boot OEM unlock space my unique code which I have there is paste and there's my code you can see we're still in bootloader on our device and all you got to do here on command window on the computer is hit enter and here goes your device now right there you can see it says unlock and it says unlocked and it's waiting for a reboot so a very small tiny little printer it says unlocked it says unlock unlock and then it says unlocked that's the two things I've seen and now we're waiting for a reboot um, so let's see what we got here Warning, bootloader unlocked. Your device bootloader has been unlocked. Blah, 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 blah. Critical stuff. Dink, 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 dink. And it should finish booting up here in just a second. There you go. There is your normal boot animation. And at this point, your device is unlocked. Um, that is the process for unlocking the bootloader. So from here, you have power. Unlocking the bootloader gives you tremendous, tremendous power over your device. Allows you to flash anything to it basically at this point. You can flash radios, you can flash kernels, you can flash recoveries, you can flash systems. You can do all that through the command prompt on your computer which is very very cool. Definitely uh, digging those features for sure. So you can see what we've got. I'm going to let this reboot and then we're going to install recovery on this device. Now this recovery is going to be specific for this device. Obviously you're going to have to find the recovery image that's right for your device because like I said this is kind of a universal on how this is working to unlock everything um, so just be aware of that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it on this it's gonna be very simple now that you have an unlocked bootloader we're just gonna send it a command in command window and you'll have uh, custom recovery so I'll get into that as soon as this finishes booting up alright just so you guys can see it is uh, preparing the devices first boot is taking quite a little bit here and just so you guys can see this this actually does do basically a factory reset for security reasons when you unlock the bootloader so just be prepared to um, go ahead and reset everything up on your device after you've performed this procedure so there we go we're back and working last thing I want to do really quick is make sure that your USB debugging is still functioning and you see it actually turned off so we're gonna turn it back on again build number tap 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 should be on then developer turned on and USB debugging right there and it'll install those drivers on your computer again if they're not installed also do allow and you should be again all set and ready to rock and roll to install this recovery alright so we're back in the command window so all we're gonna do is we're gonna type in ADB devices again again we got our devices connected correctly so then we're gonna say ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter as you guys can see our device is back into bootloader mode so then we'll test fast boot to make sure it's working so fast boot um, devices should be fine yep it is and then just so you guys can see what we're working with here right here is that image that we're flashing so all you have to do is go into command window and say fastboot flash recovery space and then what I do just because it's easiest whatever recovery image you're going with just come in here say rename select it all copy make sure it says IMG at the end come in here paste it in paste there you go now you've got that full line set up so it's 
fast boot flash recovery, the name of the recovery image, and then you basically just hit enter and it's going to flash that that uh, recovery. Just to make sure I did that right, I'm just going to go back in here to this thread, fast boot flash, yep, that's it right there. So that should be pretty, pretty simple to do. So all we got to do is hit enter and we'll finish this up. Target, reported, max download size, blankety blank, sending, writing. All right, everything should be done. Let's go to our device and boot into recovery just to show it to you. Okay, now that you guys have flashed recovery, um, you can actually unplug your cable. You're done with that. That's not a big deal. Um, it's really important right after you flash recovery, you don't reboot this thing. So, just so you understand, the volume down is your scroll button in this screen and your volume up is your select button and power just does a reboot so if we just reboot right now and then try to get in recovery later it will just restore stock recovery um, so it's really important that right here after flashing recovery we just go ahead and scroll down until we hit recovery then scroll push the up button to or up volume button to select recovery and the reason we do it like this is, like I said, it will restore recovery, stock recovery, and we don't want that. We want Team Win Recovery Project. After this first boot right here, um, you can reboot into now recovery that way now from now on. But it's got to get it booted first, and then it stops the system from restoring stock recovery. So there you go. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot of system. It says your device does not appear to be rooted and I'm not, I don't want it to be rooted so do not install and just let it reboot so there you go that is how to unlock your bootloader on the Moto X or any Motorola device using the online unlock tool through Motorola um, hope you guys have liked this. this is also installing Torp Recovery Team 1 Recovery Project um, hope it was informative for you stepped you through most of the steps pretty easily again I will link all of the files you guys needed in the video description down below Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Root Junkie, out.